I'm going to go through and time myself. If you beat me, once again, you will get double points. If you can uh, reach the time that I set, you'll be awarded your points. I'm using a 106 pound kettlebell for my swing and pull. You have 10 reps of your swing and pull, a forward bear crawl, tap your hand to the wall, a backwards bear crawl, back to your kettlebell, you hop back up and finish out with a set of 10 swing and pull. So I'm going to have this set here. I'll get my phone for my stopwatch. When we do this, I will have a piece of tape that is your starting point, just so everybody is fair and accurate. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm working here by myself, so I'll grab my kettlebell. Swing and pull, 10 reps. Bear crawl forward, tap the wall. Bear crawl backwards to your kettlebell. Grab your weight, swing and pull again, 10 reps. Starting my time and beginning my swing and pull. Five. Ten. Tap. One. Time, 44 seconds, 4, 4 seconds. Now, as we go through this, your swing and pull, you have got to, got to, got to use your hips as the main source of energy. Some people are able to cheat it up with their upper body. Hip drive turns into the pull. Push back down. Hip drive turns into the pull. You have to be efficient at doing that. Kettlebell goes down when I say 10. You crawl across the room. Have to tap the wall. Backwards crawl to your kettlebell. When I crawl backwards, notice, when I got towards the end, I'm looking behind me through my legs because you have to end back at that kettlebell if you're gonna beat me, okay? You can't end three feet before it. Get up, turn around, grab it. You have to land yourself in the perfect position to start your last set.